Today I show you how to turn off a Samsung Galaxy Android phone without knowing the passcode or without having the fingerprint. Um, this you should only do it with your own phone or your friend's phone or family member's phone. Don't do this with uh, someone else's phone. You, If you find the phone somewhere, you should actually power it on and connect it to the Wi-Fi. So I'll show you. Make sure it's connected to Wi-Fi and mobile data if you find the phone. So if you did find the phone now, check that Wi-Fi is on, mobile data is on, so that the owner of the phone can actually contact you to get their phone back if they lost the phone. But if it's your phone or your friend's phone, then this video is for you. So to turn off the phone without actually having the passcode, you see, this is the PIN requirement. It needs the PIN, even it will not work with fingerprint now because it's it was just restarted. So to restart, to shut down the phone, if you're going in a plane and your friend's phone is in your bag somehow and the flight attendant is telling you to turn off the phone and you don't have the passcode or the fingerprint, then it's easy. You can swipe down from the top here. It's really easy. You can swipe down from the top. So you don't have the passcode. The phone is locked here, as you see. And all you have to do is swipe down from the top to pull down the quick settings menu. So when you have here in the quick settings menu, you can check the Wi-Fi mobile data, but it doesn't really matter if I turn off the phone. So if you need to turn off the phone now, you press this button here. That's the power button. It's a virtual power button like on your computer or on your laptop. And once you press that, you get this the power menu. So I'll show you one more time. Swipe down from the top, show the quick settings, press the virtual power button. And from here, you can do power off. There is also the option you can you can actually use the power button of the phone. You can actually use the power button of the phone to show the power menu or the volume down and power button. So let's try volume down and power button at the same time. Long press. And that's it. The power menu here. So long press on these two here. It's volume up, volume down and power. So I'll press here on both two like this. Maybe again, if it, it might not work first try, but just press again. And now it shows to get out from it. You just press somewhere, anywhere. And if you can also use the power button here, only the power button, long press on the power button. Again, it might not work if the phone was immediately locked. So I press it again. So long press on the power button. It shows me the power menu. There is also this arrow to go back. But you can press on any, you can tap on any empty space and it's the same thing. Once you're in the power menu here, try not to use the other. So in the power menu here, I can use power off or restart. I will do power off and one more tap to actually do it. It's interesting. Now this one is asking me for the pin to turn off the phone. I guess for a restart, it should not ask for the pin. Okay, I will try to I'll try to press the power and volume down long. Long press on power and volume down should force it to shut down or restart. And now it should be off and restarting, I guess. So it is restarting. I guess you could you could call this video uh, how to restart the phone without the power. I guess you could call this video how to restart the Okay, so Okay, the phone now I restarted the phone. I restarted the phone because it didn't let me do a power off 
without having to enter the code because it was restarted and it could have been that someone else found it. So that's a great security feature. Thanks, Samsung. And let's try now. So now I can use the fingerprint, but I want to try to do like this power off, power off. And it still asks for the pin or the fingerprint to turn off the phone. That's a pretty good security feature, actually. On my Xperia, I could do it without any problems. Um, yeah, so I guess this video is about how to restart the phone without the power button. Even to restart, so can't do anything. Let's try from here. Restart. No. But with the restart, it's still asking you for this. But with the restart, you can, you can, f to really force a restart, you press the power button and the volume down, and it will do the restart no matter. So I'm here in this menu and let's try manually, and it's asking for the password or fingerprint. But if I long press and it, I keep pressing it. Trying to take a screenshot, not really. So I press on them at the same time and I keep pressing and I keep pressing. I keep doing it. I keep pressing it. And now it's restarted. So it's not about powering it off after all. Without the passcode, you can't really power it off, looks like. But you can force restart with the volume down and the power button. It's still something. I don't know if you're in a plane. You really have to get to whoever has the phone, whoever has the passcode or fingerprint to turn off the phone. But you can set the airplane mode in the quick settings menu. If you are in the plane and you cannot power off the phone, you can always use the quick settings menu to turn the flight mode on. Or even for flight mode, it needs the pin. So, okay. To turn off Wi-Fi, everything you need for this. So I guess you have to just keep restarting it. I don't know what to do. This is a, actually this is a good security feature. Okay, I entered the passcode and now let's try to lock the phone again. So it's it after a restart the passcode was entered once and I will try to set the flight mode and it's asking for password again or fingerprint. So I guess it's much more difficult to power off a Samsung phone, but you can you can keep restarting it. This is if this is what you wanted. Thanks for watching.